Good morning. I'm going to try and shoot sunrise. Quite a few clouds. We're going to see what we can get. Seems as if this part of the beach has quite a few turtle nests. It's the leatherbacks that come up first. We're back in my office with all the photos I took from this morning. And to save a little bit of time, I already went through and picked a few out. This one, I believe, is going to end up being the base and what we're going to work on, mostly because I like the bottom part here. We're going to change that sky somewhat, but this is going to be our base image, I believe, because I, I like the wave action here. Warm it up, maybe a hair. Add a little contrast. Open the shadows a little bit, but I, I we're going to do that with a mask in a minute here. Texture. There, pop that clarity a little bit. Dehaze, maybe pull back on the blue a little bit. Again, all this is, is personal preference. Some people might like more blue, some might like more yellow. I tend to put a little bit more blue in them. We're going to add a mask, linear gradient mask, from the bottom, just so we can lighten up the waves a little bit. Add a little bit more contrast to them. Open up the shadows. Then what we'll do is we'll create another mask with a brush. Some of these are going to be like this bottom one might be eliminated a little bit once we, if I decide to go to a 16 by 9 format, which is probably what I'll end up doing. All right, so let's change the exposure a little bit. Increase the, they're not coming up too much. But I guess you don't want them too much because we're going to darken the sky somewhat so they can't, it'll look weird if they're too bright. And then maybe create another mask. Maybe along in here. And brighten that a little bit. Add a little gold to it. Little yellow. One more. Let's increase the exposure just a little bit on that uh, on that station over there, and on the pier. There's our base. The second image we want to use is this one because of the pink in this cloud and the pink over here and a little bit of that. I'd like to keep some of that in the picture. This was shot about five minutes previous to the other one before the sun came up. We're going to add a little purple, cool it a little bit, or warm it a little bit. Again, I don't claim to be a Photoshop expert. I kind of muddle my way through some of these sometimes and learn as I go. I surprise myself sometimes and go, oh, boy, look at that. That's all part of, part of the learning process, huh? Okay, so that will be the second image we want to use. The third one we want to use will be this one, 
because of the sun. Okay, so we have our three, three images we're going to blend together. And the first thing we need to do, hopefully it's going to work, but because a couple of these are so dark, maybe, maybe not. But we're going to try to auto-align them. If not, we'll just have to blend them in without. So we go to Edit, Auto-Align Layers. I usually just do the Auto. Uh, some people might like some of the other ways, but I usually just do Auto. Auto does a pretty good job. It's going to take a moment. There we go. There's our base. There's the pink sky we want to use. And then this is the sun. So this, this all took place between the first image and the <clears throat> last was, oh, a couple of minutes. So we have our three images. Now what we want to do is we want to put a layer mask on it. This one as well. And then I do it a little different than I've seen other people do it. Um, I, I've seen one or two people do this. Matter of fact, uh, if you go and look at Gary Go, he's a YouTube photographer. He's the one who who showed me how to do this in one of his videos. So credit to Gary. You hit Control I, at least on a PC, to invert it. Up here, Control I to invert it, and then you're back. You can see your your base image, your original image. When you want to work in here, now you can just go and see what it is you're, you're brushing into your bottom image. Now we want to introduce the pink. Remember all that pink? And I may go back and redo this, but let's, for now, introduce that sky to kind of match it up. All right, so we have the pink that we want. Now the problem we're going to run into is when we go to add this sun, Let's try a little bit smaller brush. All right, so what I did was, to save a little time, I brushed in the top uh, with the sun and everything. And then I saved the file. Normally what you want to do is save it before you flatten the image. That way you can always go back to your layers if you want. What you, what you normally want to do, though, before you save it, save it as one with the layers that are still open, okay? And then flatten it, save it again. But because this is just kind of a, um, a piece that I'm showing you how I do this, I don't think it's going to be a portfolio shot. I didn't bother to save it. But now the other thing we need to do is select all... and let's uh, get that horizon straight. See what it looks like in a 16 by nine. Normally people say, well, you want the bottom to be two thirds and the top to be one third or vice versa. And you want to get that sun you know, with your rule of thirds, maybe sitting closer to that, that top third, but rules are made to be broken, right? So I kind of like it right about there. So there's our crop. Obviously there are some spots that need to be worked on. 
we can try with our spot healing tool that seems to work better than the the clone I find in some instances so just go through and get all your spots out you've gone through and gotten all your spots out look and see if there's any areas you'd like to dodge and burn a little bit more maybe through here a little bit It's all personal preference as to how you, how much you want to do and maybe get into this station a little bit, not too much, just enough, maybe along here, and then go into your adjustments and take one last stab at checking your colors. Do you want to warm it up? Do you want to cool it down? If there's anything you want to do there. Don't want to overdo it too much. And after you've done your little color adjustments, flatten it again. And normally I go up and put one last little sharpen on it. And there you go. Sunrise from this morning. Not a bad image. Don't know that it's a portfolio shot, but it shows you how you can blend in from two or three different uh, photographs, two or three different images from five minutes apart so that you get more of a dynamic range or like in this case I like this foreground here and I liked this part with the sun I wanted a little bit of the pink from the clouds now I'll probably go back and work that in a little bit better in the end but this it's just a an idea to show you how you can blend two or three images seascapes are rough because of the fact obviously the water is always moving so it doesn't always want to align all the time, which is why I like this particular location because of the rocks. Obviously the rocks aren't moving and that station isn't moving. The pier isn't going to move. So even if the water's moving, when you do your auto align and try to line everything up, these things are stationary all in here. So it is a little bit easier to blend images. If you're just shooting the water itself, obviously a lot harder that's it like i said i'll go back and touch it up just a little bit more maybe darken this area in a little bit and then the other thing you normally want to do one last thing is you don't want vignetting but you do want to go and darken your edges just a tad I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed going out in the morning and doing the sunrise. It's always nice to go out. Hope you enjoyed seeing the turtle nests. And until next time, thanks for watching. I hope I taught you something. And if you can teach me something in the comments, please do. Thanks again. Until next time, goodbye. Mm -hmm.